Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. The time has finally come for Ubiquity to release Unify OS 3.0 for the Dream Machine. So this will be for our Dream Base model and the UDM Pro. And this has been a long time coming, probably about a year. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna update my UDM Pro in this. We'll go through the change log and we'll take a look at the user interface to see some of the differences. Before we do the upgrade, you need to read the additional information. It says you must be on 2.5.17 or newer in order to update to this version. Do not update from older releases. After updating to 3.0.20, you can no longer downgrade to 3.0.9. So then it says update your console by changing to the Unify OS release channel in the settings for the release candidate. So we're going to go ahead and do that. My console is still on 2.4.23, so we're just going to upgrade it to 2.4.27 and then just going up step by step. While that's updating, let's take a look at some of the release nodes. So on 3.0.20, it adds support for ad blocking and WireGuard. I do have a video on WireGuard. I'll show you how to get to it, but I won't show you the settings in this video. And then if we scroll down, we have a ton of other improvements. So redesigned Unify OS application page. We have the ad block feature. We have admin activity system log in the Unify OS, and we'll take a look at that. We have the storage events in the system log. We have add cloud connections event to the system log. And then we have added trigger logs in the network application. So this is for our firewall rules, which is really great new feature. For our local accounts, we must have them set with at least 12 characters and we can do spaces in it. Under the VPN section, they added WireGuard support, and then they have VPN client routing. So what this is, if you want one of your subnets to route over, say, something like NordVPN, you could do that. And I will show you how to set that up using NordVPN. You could use whichever provider you want, but the steps may be a little bit different. It added support for the OpenVPN tunnel in the traffic routes, and it does it in the traffic rules as well. It also reports OpenVPN site-to-site -site events in the network application, and it improves the stability. And then we have a ton of different bug fixes, which I'm not going to go through. So let's get into the user interface. Now my lab UDM Pro is updated to 3.0.20. We can see right from the Unify OS dashboard that we have this system log, which will show us all critical updates, admin activity, backups, and push notification. Let's just click on all. From all of the system logs, we could see that protect was updated. We could see that I accessed unify.ui.com. And then we could see that the Unify OS was updated at 152 today. Now within our UDM Pro, we could see on the side here that we have the system log and it's gonna show us our critical, our updates, admin activity, our client, our AP and our triggers. This is for our Unify network controller. The triggers would show us some firewall rules. I'm gonna hop over to my UDM SE as I have some things that are populated just to show you guys. Okay, so this is the triggers within my UDM SE and you can see that my Mac Telecom UNVR was blocked from accessing 192.168.10.160. And this is all because my firewall rule block inner VLAN routing. This will also show up for your traffic management rules and routes. Now let's take a look at the VPN settings. So we have teleport and VPN. And we can see here, we still have the original teleport. If we scroll down, we have the VPN server. So I'm gonna click on create. With this VPN server, it now allows us to either choose WireGuard or L2TP. Again, I do have a video on the WireGuard, which you could find in the description below. So now let's set up a network to route through something like NordVPN. I'm gonna go over to VPN client and then click on create new. From here, we need to give it a name. I'll call it Nord, and we have to put in a user a password and a configuration file and where you're going to find this is with whichever vpn service you're using under nord we can see the service credentials and this is the username and password that i'm going to enter in now within nord vpn you could choose a bunch of different open vpn files and you could pick whichever place that you want they have a whole list of it i'm going to pick something in the usa and then we're going to upload that into our unify controller you can see down in the corner that i have the open vpn configuration file for the nord vpn i'm going to click upload you'd see the configuration file has loaded i'm going to press test and save okay and that worked under client vpn we could see it's nord the protocol is open vpn and then it's giving me the ip address of the nord vpn server now we need to create a network that we want to route through that nord vpn so i'm going to go up to networks i'm going to create a new network i'll call this nord as well i'm going to uncheck auto scale and i'll give it an ip of 192.168.22.1 and I'm gonna click on manual, give it a VLAN ID of 22. And one thing you wanna keep into consideration, if you're trying to do this as a privacy thing, you're gonna to want to change your DNS to the Nord DNS so that you don't have a DNS leak. So I'm gonna go over to show options under DHCP service management. I'm gonna check on the enable DHCP server, and then I'm gonna put in one of the Nord VPN servers. I'm gonna add the network. And now to get that network to route over Nord, we need to go to traffic management. We're gonna click on routes. 
We're going to create a new route for all traffics. The target is going to be our new network of Nord. And then our interface is going to be that VPN. So you can see under VPN that Nord is showing up. Anytime somebody connects to that network, they're going to be routing through that privacy VPN. Now, if you want to enable blocking, we just need to click on the enable. And there's not a whole lot that we could do for this. We just need to select the networks that we want this to run over. So I'll just put it on both. If you're going to be using this, you need to look at these requirements. Your DHCP DNS server is set to auto. And then note, this is found under the DHCP service management. So if it's not set to auto, you won't be able to use this and it won't work properly for you. Now, one last thing that we'll take a look at is under security insights. We can see the traffic identification, which there isn't really anything as I'm not using anything on this UDM Pro, but then we could go to our filtering activities. So if you have any threats that were blocked, they're going to show up here in a graph, as well as these being blocked, you'll be able to see that and our traffic rule enforcement. For your traffic rule enforcement, if you're blocking a certain subnet to say Instagram, it's gonna show you how many times that was hit and on what device, which is really great. So that's gonna be it for Unify OS 3.0.20. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this update. Hopefully now every new update that comes out for Unify OS will be for the UDM base, the UDM Pro, the Unify Dream Machine, and the next generation gateway. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.